when you did your master program, did you get any job experience before applying for the masters, or did you directly go from bachelor to masters? Yeah. So uh, after uh, when I got my degree of bachelor's, I applied for multiple jobs, and when I don't have a job, I started uh, internship in one of the paint industry in Pakistan, and then uh, I was doing the internship, and I got one opportunity from uh, a firm in uh, in Pakistan that works in the designing of uh, water and wastewater treatment plants. Mm -hmm. So I just decided to go in that field, like as it's also related to chemical engineering. So mm -hmm. I was doing the job and then I was doing it like for after one year, I decided to, just to switch the job. So I mm -hmm. decided to why not to start a master's. So I applied in like in, in UET in two or two, three programs and I got my admission in the metallurgy and in the polymers and process engineering. Mm -hmm. So I decided, I also applied in environmental as my degree, as you can say, as my experience is more related to that environmental. But unfortunately, I couldn't get into the environmental. But then I have to cho choose between the metallurgy and the polymers and process engineering. So mm -hmm. then I decided to, uh, I read about so both programs. I researched a little bit about that what what I will going to study and then after you can say after examining I decided to go with this polymers and process engineering mm -hmm. as in polymers we have a lot of plastics and plastics is also related to uh, the environment and then we also study the membrane materials which we use in water and waste water treatment plant so then mm -hmm. this was the point that then which forced me to opt for uh, polymers and process engineering and then I got the admission there. Mm -hmm. Amazing, but interesting choice that you chose to continue that, that path after doing your Bachelor of in Chemical Engineering. But because now you because you said that you were doing slight, you were doing your internship and you were doing a job before applying for the master's. And a master's mm -hmm. degree is a very specialized degree. Like you, like you, now you're talking right. about plastics and environmental and so it tends to be very focused, laser focused on different topics. Did you feel at any point that your experience from the industry before going for the master's actually helped you adapt to the topics and give you a bigger picture perspective? Yes, exactly. It's, it is very helpful that if I talk about myself, there were some students in my class that simply just did the bachelor's and then they came to this master's program. And mm -hmm. if I talk about myself or some of the other students who, who worked or who are working, who were working in the industry at that time, were well aware of that thing. Like mm -hmm. if if they are showing us anything on a, you can say on giving us any presentation or something like that, mm -hmm. then we can easily understand, you can say in more depth that what they're talking about it. And as you as you know that all the equipments are same, whichever the you know, whichever the industry is, either if it's a oil and gas, a fertilizer, a paint industry, the equipment are same in all over the world. So it could be very helpful if you had uh, some little experience in an industry. It could help you to, you can say, to uh, adopt the master's program more easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, fully agree. Thank you for that. Then if, I, then if I was to ask you, because like I said myself earlier, that a master program is a very specialized field. And normally a master program tends to be a very, uh, how do you say, it, a research-based, uh, tends to be like a exactly. research-based uh, program. But now you did your undergrad from Pakistan as well, from Comsat, and then you did your master's from UAT. Did you feel that there was a sort of a difference being a master's student to, to being like a bachelor's student? Yeah, exactly, for sure. Like if a uh, master's degree could help you to differentiate between the bachelor's and the master's student. Like let's suppose if, you, if there is a particular job of, with respect to my area and they have two students one is just simple bachelor's and the another one is master's and obviously they are going to prefer with the student with a master's degree and obviously you will have a more uh, you can say that more detail and the more uh, grip of that subjects in practically too and in, in the field too so masters uh, really help you in getting mm -hmm. a job and sometimes if you are interested to go for higher studies like if you want to opt for phd then also it could help you to if you have a mm -hmm. master's. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's exactly it's uh, you can say that if after doing masters, you will be a little higher than the other graduates who have only bachelors. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Perfect. 
But then, you know, I'm going to ask you an interesting question. They're already there because uh, a lot of students, many times it happens that if you are a master's student, you, of course, uh, are a master graduate, you would, of course, expect to, give, to be given a higher starting salary compared to a bachelor graduate. Mm-hmm. And that's, of course, you know, since you have worked more than the bachelor student, a lot of students exactly. are, are, are reluctant to go for a master because they're afraid that it would limit the job positions they can go for because the companies, they would they have to get that balance between paying people off and then getting the work done. Do you mm-hmm. feel that is a valid concern for students to not go for masters thinking that it would limit their job opportunities right after? No, no, no. That, that's that. I think that is a, that's not a good concept. Like, if we talk about the job profile, then if mm-hmm. you if you have done chemical engineering, it means that you can work in any type of uh, any type of field that is related to chemical engineering. Either if you have a master's in any other X Y Z field, mm-hmm. but if you have a master's, then then you will be more. You can say if for the particular job. You will be more qualified for that post, but mm-hmm. that's not a valid point. That if if uh, students think that after doing, let's suppose if I talk about myself, that after doing a masters in polymers, then I I can only work in mm-hmm. polymers and all over my life. No, mm-hmm. because you can work in any field that is related mm-hmm. to chemical engineering. So mm-hmm. it's not a bad deal if you do a masters. At it, I think it helps you to enhance your profile. Mm-hmm. Okay, amazing. Thank you. And then just one last question about the master program. That would be that a, a lot of students, when they do their bachelor's in chemical engineering, chemical engineering is a very broad degree. I, you, I, I hope you agree. It covers a wide range exactly. of topics. Uh, exactly. When you're going, right? But when you're going for a master program, now, like I said earlier, that master program, they are a very specialized program. Like you did your master's in polymers and uh, and process engineering. And, and, it, and then when it says a specific title on your master's degree, your employer or the next person agree would assume that you are an expert in that area. How would you suggest for the graduates to choose what program they should pursue for a master's after their bachelor's? Like uh, it's an interesting question. As uh, if we if we talk about the uh, choosing the program, like the first thing is what you want to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, like what interests you. What if if you are interested in environment, then you should. Mm-hmm. Do some program if you are uh, interested in some occupational health safety, or if you are interested in exam for chemical mm-hmm. engineering. Then some students also do masters in pure chemical engineering. If uh, if you are interested in metallurgy or in polymers, and mm-hmm. some students also go in uh, petroleum engineering after BSc in chemical engineering. So mm-hmm. it depends on you what you want to do. And sometimes if uh, some students also doing job in that particular field so that job make uh, give them mm-hmm. interest and then they decide to uh, choose or to study more in that particular subject mm-hmm. and then they decided to uh, do masters so mm-hmm. i think that it is very important for the students that what exactly they are interested in and mm-hmm. if they know about their interest then they could easily manage and also i remember some of my class fellows who were uh, with me in my bachelor's also did masters in some other fields like some of them in mbas some of mm-hmm. their uh, masters in business administration then some in project management so it depends on on us that what we are interested and in, what we want to do mm-hmm. okay amazing so you, you so people should really pursue their interest and passion uh, when they're choosing the master program right perfect exactly, thank you exactly. uh, then, uh, and you'll be aware that a lot of students from Pakistan, when they do their bachelor's degrees, they try to pursue a master's from abroad, uh, the, the, the US, Canada, many people apply for European universities. And that's a very common thing that people try to pursue. But you chose to pursue a master's from Pakistan, from your home country. Was there a specific reason you did that? Uh, the first thing is that I, as I was uh, I, I was doing a job here, and secondly, the the program is very suitable for me. Like I can easily manage it with my job and stay mm-hmm. at my home. So that was the major reason that I decided to do it here. And also, I just got the admission. So I mm-hmm. thought that if I got admission, I should start it as it's not going to harm me. It's not going to affect my my job and 
it's not going to affect my other you can say the other thing mm -hmm. so i just did it and then secondly if, if we talk about other students then the, the sometimes they just want to explore you can say the new things mm -hmm. and the new cultures and they are sometimes they are not uh, getting satisfied with the mm -hmm. job description or so so that's why they just try to go in any other country and then they mm -hmm. just do the masters from any other european or any american or canadian mm -hmm. company uh, university so that's it okay amazing uh, but uh, but of course at the end of the day it is not your degree or the university that you went to it's actually your own skill set that matters so regardless if someone went to oxford or someone went to the a university in some other place it, it all comes down to you yourself on how much you're willing to work on a specific area, right? So, great. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for listening. And if you have not done so already, remember to become a free member at Chemical Engineering Life. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more upcoming podcasts with chemical engineers. Thank you and have a great day.